Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Let me switch that off. Uh, I'm your host, from Black Dragon Forge, and as you can tell, this is episode 0 0.4 of the live, working live on, uh, well, Mighty Eivor's Axe from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yep, this is where we're at at the moment, and I am busy grinding in that little level. I'm currently at uh, 100. And 20 grit for a, yeah, 180, sorry, 180 cleaning that up. Uh, the rest of the axe is on 120. And, uh, well, I want to get this done today so I can uh, do the layout and then start carving, yeah, which is the cool part. So, without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, two comments. Unfortunately, the setup is a bit dodgy. Yeah, so uh, for the guys that are following, Abel's Axe, episode 0 0.4 on the live stream. Okay, so we're going to flip over to comments. Uh, Sean is busy making us some coffee. And then uh, once he's uh, off back, then we'll, well, then we'll do it. Yeah. So let me just stop my recording and do this as a complete new one. There we go. Uh, we're going to switch over to... Well, I'm actually working, yeah, and in uh, the top little corner, oh, crap, somewhere. Uh, that that corner there, you'll uh, you can see me standing around. Okay, so I've got a 180 grid belt on here, and uh, well, taking it slow, really, really slow, and literally just uh, creeping up. And the idea here is obviously just to get rid. Of the previous scratch marks, which is my 120. And this has pretty much been my entire day so far. Trying to keep things as flat as possible, man. Just the flat and smooth. Yeah. The wheel I'm using is a 60 millimeter, 60 millimeter wheel. This is the wheel I, I grind my daggers with. And uh, it's 25 more broad. She is getting in here like an absolute monster. I was asked earlier via Facebook Messenger whether I was using a template or a jig to grind this. Well, as you can see, yes. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm using my hands. I could have, well, I tried to set up a jig to grind this. Because it would have been a lot quicker. But, couldn't figure it out, man. No one wants to comment, do they? Dude, we're not in comments. Your comments. There we go. Okay, so Sean's in the house. He's going to read out the comments for us, and uh, I will try to answer as much as possible. Once again, welcome, guys. I'm really, really trying my damnedest to get some work done today. Hey, Nicole. How's it going, Nicole? What you're cooking? I'm 
Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Giveaway and fun way to see if I'm the winner. Excellent, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly ticked off that I can't win. Yeah. I'm ticked off that I'm fairly. I'm not going to win. But I know it's a yeah, I ain't gonna make another one of these. Uh, Excellent, man. So, if you guys want to see uh, real time, well, real time update, um, updates, photos, short little video clips, uh, then it will be uh, my Instagram account at Black Dragon Forge. That's well, at Black Dragon Forge. Um, and the stories, I'm, I'm really doing a bit of detail in there, yeah? Only oh, Paul answered your question there. It's making roast pieces of pumpkin fritters and stir fry veg. Why are you doing veg on veg? My dad always said that uh, if he wanted veg, he'll have chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you doing veg on veg? She said one got kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it depends, man. It all depends. Have a chicken. I like chicken. I really do. <laughs> Farm 29 in the middle of friggin' nowhere, Land Syria. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so you go on to blackdragonforge.com. Um, there is a downloadable map on uh, how to get to us. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. That's a good answer, is it? Yeah. Now to get in here and not screw up. So that is still a. Uh, you'll, you'll see the the grit finish there is still coarse. Cause I neglected her down there. I didn't do a a 120 finish, so that's still the the 60 grit. So I'm having to work a lot harder on uh, getting those out, those marks out. So if I was on a 320, I would have gone. I had to go down back to a uh, a 180 or even 120 to get those out. Now you can get it out on uh, the 180 like I'm doing now, but you're not going to get the same crisp finish. Oh, so I might I just have to. Nicole's address. Oh, David, Nicole, I reckon uh, you need to uh, organize a bit of a, a large cookout, yeah, and then just invite everyone. And as you can see from that, I like food. Dude! Excellent, man! I like that. I was watching a documentary on the Ulu. Um, and, uh, dude, fascinating. Absolutely freaking fascinating. Morning, Morning, gentlemen. Ladies. So I'm desperately trying not to screw up here, yeah? Yeah, don't fuck up. Don't, don't, don't. That's the mantra in the shop. Yeah. It looks like we're getting there. Okay, so now I'm going to pop over. So we're going to stop that one. Uh, we're going to go on to large green. <laughs> and uh, thank you for coffee, too. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Neil Stein is telling me that uh, it's time for a new apron. Brother, this is the oldest 
kit I have. Um, this is now 12 years, three or four months old. So uh, my wife and her great-grandmother, uh, or her grandmother, sorry, my great-grandmother, made me this apron. Yeah. It was painted with African motifs and the whole thing. That's very dark, isn't yeah, it? Just, yeah. And it's getting desperately thin in the front here, so much so that I can... I can have stuff sticking out. It's your Sunday apron. <laughs> it is uh, getting desperately thin. But the nice thing about this is that it's, it's perfectly shaped to my uh, grinding handle over there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, well, I, I, I do need to do another one. I do need to. But this one's got some serious sentimental value. Yeah, so every single blade I have made ever, uh, I've worn this. Yeah, every single freaking blade that I've done over the past 12 and a bit years, this oak has been there. Yeah? Every single time I have ever burnt myself, this thing's been there. Yeah? Um, every time I split the forge, done. This has been there. So, uh, done. Mark is now saying it's uh, also known as Bobbeards. <laughs> Uh, Neil, yeah, man, the, the place of honor in the shop is, uh, well, on me. Yeah? It, it's, it's going to get to a point where I'll probably catch it and, 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 and but uh, I, I don't know if I'll just make a new one. I don't know. Or I don't know. And it's an extra long one. So if I still. <laughs> so uh, it's literally just my freaking feet that are sticking out. No, there, there we go. No, oh, wrong foot. There we go, there's my foot. Yeah, so uh, she's fairly long. This thing works like an actual charm, and I, I really like it. Um, and I did a, a crush your heart on the back so she carries over the shoulders, not around your neck, uh, like most of these stupid items are. Uh, oh, I could probably have made it shorter. It would have saved my t shirts a lot more. But uh, yeah, there. Yeah. She's good, man. She's good. All right, so uh, I think the next one, I'm going to stop with this recording. Uh, yeah, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, what do I need to do now? I need to do 180 on the large wheel and clean that up. So, Sean, yeah. dude, I'm going to ask you to uh, come and assist me over here, man. Sean is busy building uh, burner pots. Yeah, so, we've got a ceramics. Uh, so, I'm going to do a ceramic. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, 180 on uh, my 150mm wheel. 50 broad. So 150, uh, 50 well is 2 in, so 150 is, oh crap, I don't know. What's 150 divided by 25? That's the inch diameter on that wheel there. I don't know yeah. if you can actually see it. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to flip over to my second camera and we're actually going to point the, oh crap, where am I? I'm going to do that there. Yeah. The container. I'm completely lost. That's what I am. So the sound is going to suck because my microphone's over here. All right. And I'm now going to step uh, a, a meter and a bit away. 1.2 meters away from that. So uh, let me just do this quickly. Oh, that's cool. Look at the finer the grits, the quicker this goes. That is a bit uh, of an issue, issue trying to climb stairs with it. So it's respect to those ladies in their long skirts. Oh, I say skirts, yeah, I've got no clue, man. I have got no clue. So, obviously I don't have to finish this. Ah, I don't have to finish this thing in here perfectly. Because I'm going to be carving in there. So any surface finish I do there is kind of, well, it's not helping me at all. Sean, would you mind changing this wheel out 
for uh, the small wheel attachment that goes on that piece. Thanks, brother. So I can get that uh, 50 more. 50 by 50, a little small wheel on there. So this is a, I don't want to say quick and dirty, but a quick and dirty finish on this. It is uh, more in preparation for the carving than anything else. And obviously once I've done the carving, the uh, excess only needs to be cleaned up. And I don't want to go finer than a 180 finish. Sorry? 55 or 45? Uh, 55. I'm... 55, yeah. You're running your original or you're running one of your Black Dragon ones? Uh, the, no, no, the original long one. The long one with the oh. small section. Because I've got no idea in which position I'm going to find myself in there, and I don't want to give it up one more. Yeah. I don't want to uh, actually change out again. And a pro tip, if you're smoking while you're working, you need to uh, continue smoking. Otherwise, your cigarette just dies out. It's long lasting. What did you gain? Uh, I will be doing a red satin. Uh, so a red service conditioning belt. SEM medium. Yes. So uh, a lot of guys are calling it a Scotch Bright as well, which is not a surface conditioning medium, uh, medium so uh, that'll be the surface finish that you would get on um, house appliances, uh, any commercially bought knife, that's straight to the machine finish. <laughs> Because I will not be a hand to anyone else. Oh, you just took all the fun out of it. Hand <laughs> sanding in my shop is a very weird man. How's it going, Mr. Zwart? You shouldn't be watching, you should be working. How are you doing, Neil? Hey, hey, guys. We'll, we'll get into uh, comments at that uh, later than just finish the script. Oh, the bread. 
Mr. Wulong, sir. How's it going, buddy? Okay, so that's where we're at. All nice and shiny. All nice and crisp along there. Yeah. So uh, now we're on to a red SEM. Service condition media, would you mind putting a red one on there as well? Let me just check direction. This one is correct. Okay, so on belt, you can see the join there. You get, uh, so a lot of guys are asking me about the arrows on the backs of the belts. <laughs> you get an older belt like this one, which is a lap join. So it literally laps over the other one. So you need to put it into the direction of the uh, the uh, arrows on the belt. Yeah. Because if you now turn this thing around and you work, you've got your knife on here. You can see how this is going to rip it off. So um, find me one that is a lap join. This one, on the other hand. And you can see there, let's do this really close up. So here you could see, you can see that straight edge right there indicating that you've got a lap joint. Yeah. This one here on the other one, other hand, is a butt join. So those two surfaces are meeting up perfectly. Done. Yeah. So they are meeting up perfectly. So then if you've got a butt join like this, uh, normally with tape at the back, you can put them in any direction. So direction that doesn't matter. I need this one on here because that is going to cross a bit of belt bump and I don't want that. Isn't there a new one? A newer one with no uh, lap. Let's check there. There we go. So there's a new one, which is a butt join. You can see there's glue on both sides and there's not one surface that is higher up than the other one and it's got a telltale glue strip or tape at the back. So this is a medium, this is fat, uh, P-H-E-R-D, fat, South Africa. I get mine from them. They are fairly expensive, but uh, they last years, man. They, they really do. There's some of these belts in my shop that are three, three and a bit years old. Now this one, if it rocks like this, it's normally an indicator that that join is busy popping. So check me, get me a new one, please. No, it's not. So someone left this on a machine, and the one side, because my uh, drive wheels at the back there, drive wheel at the back is crowned, so it is around. If you leave it on the machine, the one side of the belt um, actually stretches out, and that's what's causing this thing to whop. Oh, no, I can see you there. Look at that. Got it. Look at that there. So uh, that's been a student that nicked the side of that belt. Yeah. Okay. So I won't be using that one. That's a new one. So if you're doing a flat grind and you're just doing the entire surface, that's good. Uh, new and it's a nice, it's a butt joint. That is a brand new one right there. Oh, Sean, would you mind just stepping on the machine, please? You see the edge plate was in. Just step on it, man. Thanks, please. Okay, leave. That's important. All right, so let's do that. I think it might be the batch, though. I'm not sure. Let's just leave it like that and let me continue working. So let's just flip this back over. We've got that there. And all I am now going to do is bring my light in and uh, we're going to flip it to there. And now I'm going to finish is that surface what is this an equivalent to i have got no idea whatever the grit is i, I don't know and i don't care
increase the speed on this baby a bit more. And if they break, it is spectacular. Because I will definitely be slapped. Give me a new grey as well. We're going to go over to uh, the larger wheel which gives me a better finish. Because on the small wheel you get a shuddering. So uh, it does a little shuddering on me. So as soon as I'm done on this one, would you mind just uh, flipping me over? And like I said, this is a preliminary finish. It's not the final finish that we'll have on this sex. Feel each other I can get in the uh, start carving, man. Great, so I'm going over to uh, that oak over there now. Sean's going to flip that one for me. to these in parts as uh, knife makers erasers because they kind of get rid of all those little uh, needling issues that you have as a beginner maker but they are uh, prone to, to washing out sharp lines so just be careful when you use them Go to that, that one there. Now we come back to the grey, which is a fine. And this is the surface finish that uh, I'll be sticking with for the. Thank 
Yeah, ACM, this is uh, the blue or the gray, depending on who you ask, which is the fine. Oh, thanks. This one isn't bad either. X. You want to ask me a question? This is getting looking. This is getting there. Uh, I think it's 1.3 kilograms at the moment. It might actually uh, be a bit less. I'm hoping to get it to 1.2, as it is a single-handed weapon. One kg would have been brilliant, but uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll end up something like one point one around there once I've done with the carving on the head. Want a grey on the the large wheel, please, Sean? That's uh, 1060. do is I'll go and clean this up on my satin wheel which will just give me a very even scratch pattern I'll clean this up really really nicely now are we ready are we ready go back onto that one over there thanks Sean it's a free chat bro do the work you spend some serious money on your machine your braces let it do the work and then number three don't shove an edge into it okay that's now it the part. think before you grind edge is always up yeah so you're not going to talk the thing into it because then you're going to cut it this thing is never going to break off uh, in one foul sweep and then uh, she'll end up whipping your ass which is not fun at all. Ask me how I know that. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to try. I'm, I'm not sure whether the camera will actually pick that up. I am actually going to go out. No, it won't. Okay, hold on. Sean will entertain you guys. Sean. Yes. Entertain them. Green cam. There you go. I need you to go and sat in the seat. Oh, that's nice. Keep me with all the trouble. That's not going to take forever, man. Yeah, that's what you always say. Gee. Yeah, great. You can say that. Um, the finer the, the belt, the better the surface grinder you get. And who else is there? The mark is there, Brad. You've been on. 
So Brad, are you going to be at the Brooklyn Now show? Anybody else that we're going to see there on the Brooklyn Now show this year? How's it, Robert? From notes now, she's going to give that actually the actually the like edge. Uh, uh, my now from Saturday. I'm still playing with that, Marty, but I've got five other now. I'm busy with this side at the moment. Okay, so uh, okay. Uh, uh, not gonna happen because every time I saw it, the belt out, New York's just bugging them all up again with all the students. I don't know when we're gonna sort out the belts. Oh, they're all sorts of Okay, so there we go. There's that accent ready to be marked up and carved. When am I sorting out the belts? It all depends on what you uh, mean by sorting out the belts. So uh, let's flip over to this cam over here. And I can show you what I mean. Right at the top, it says 60, 80, 100, 120, 180, 320, blah, 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 up to 1,200 grit. So they are all sorted up. This side here, on the other hand, those five pegs there are my custom belts. Yeah. So no one even looks at those. No one even thinks of those. Blah, blah, blah. Everything down here is SEM and 36s ready for, uh, so if I need to do profiling on blades and, 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 uh, so the bottom ones, aside from the SEM, the surface conditioning media belts, we don't care about. Right. Yeah. It's a very <laughs> funking expensive pizza cutter, that's what I mean. got anything worth that, yeah. you need to one pizza. All right, so, uh, gentlemen, ladies, we are, uh, oh, that's it, yeah, so we, we're going to get to some comments. Let me just set these cameras back up, and uh, so we can have something. It looks a, like a mirror. A mirror? No, 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 no. A very faded mirror. A very, very scratchy mirror. Um, if there is a mirror, um, no, this is not a, a mirror finish. It is just a nice little satin finish. So there we go. All nice and clean. All nice and straight. Yeah. So I'm quite happy with that. You will see that there is just a slight feet. little ridge line in there. Yeah. So I do need to just come in right there and clean that up. Because the smoother we do the finish there, it's absolutely perfect edged in. But this here has got a slight little no, ridge line right there. Line the black. Uh, this one here is perfect on that side. And then right here, I've got a slight little ridge line. Yeah, so that still needs to be blended in. But uh, overall, I'm quite happy with what we have there. Yeah, it's all nice and shiny, but shiny doesn't mean clean. So that's good enough for me to uh, start the carving with. Yeah. So that is it. I am now going to finish. Well, have another cigarette, and then finish my. Uh, ah, my God. Uh, so let's move my other pocket here. <coughs> In my bag. Please, please, please. All right. So that was it, man. Uh, thank you for joining us, um, by the way. It's really appreciated. Keep in mind that there is a competition and you can win this. Uh, look down in the description, click on the link and go and enter. It is unfortunately open to South African citizens only and you have to be 18 years and or older. So I'm just based on those two criteria, I can uh, enter. But I'm making that, so that would be fair. There are a list of rules and regulations on the page where you go and enter. <clears throat> Excuse me, go and do it, man. Go and do it. Don't be that guy sitting on the toilet wanting to kick your ass because you didn't enter the competition. Yeah, when your mate walks around with this thing, 
as well as the Xbox X console, as well as the game, copy of the game. Um, plus the sex. I can tell you, it's a couple of thousand pounds worth of uh, prize right there. Yeah, serious, serious, serious looking money, man. Um, that's why I'm really nipped that I can't. Uh... Well, enter. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it right there. Um, thank you for popping in. Oh, crap, the sound must have been really crappy. Uh, thank you for popping in. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Have fun. Enjoy. Cheers. <laughs>